Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 29 of Let's Play Breath of Fire 4, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, I think it's been a while, so I'm going to check on the fairies again, even though it hasn't really been a while. But between episodes, I've been keeping myself a little busy. I don't think the fairy population has changed since we were last there. Oh, wait a minute, there is a message board. Or something on the message board. What's up? Oh. From fail, no less. <laughs> okay, I think I'm still managing to figure out what it is about the fairies that I can do. Uh, let's see. Boko. Let's see. Boko Nian, Chai, and Yuma. Okay, I can see it here. Lazy, ordinary, diligent, ordinary. I'm gonna put you here, so we can actually have someone manning the weapon shop. I don't know, does it gain levels on its own? If you, like, keep someone there? Or does that have something to do with culture? It's an ordinary weapon shop, so don't expect much available. Yeah, just a bamboo stick. So, pretty crappy job right now. Hold on, let, let me go back. Signing jobs. Or oh, culture and work. Hunt and plow, but as the culture rating increases, kind of jobs you can do increase as well. Culture has an effect on our knowledge ability. So I guess just having fairies with high knowledge helps. You press confirm in the job window, menu pause for select. Make a fairy from the window, move it to the job to the fairy you want to do. If you click all, you can select all the fairies in that area and move them all at once. Well, I don't want to do that. Now is where we cut down trees and build houses. The more trees you can chop, the more houses you can build. Build a house like land from the plow menu. Remove the cursor we want to build a house and press the confirm button. You want to destroy a house. Choose a house and press the confirm button. I got some building on the go right now. It might take a while since I got multiple houses being built at the same time. So that'll probably play a factor in that. Oh man, by the time we get to, like, chapter 3 is probably when things start to get a little more hectic. I certainly hope so. Hopefully the fairies won't suffer by taking one person out of hunting. In the meantime, let's go visit the abbess. I went to that building again. See, I kind of liked it better when it was, like, a uh, top-down rather than diagonal. Alright, here we go. This must be the important place. Why, you're the Yorei dragon, aren't you? Which god has guided your path to our humble village? The wind dragon said that we should come here. Kong Ryong told you to come here? That would mean you must be from Windia, yes? Oh, I'm sorry. My eyesight isn't what it used to be. Oh, I can see you just fine. I just can't tell what you look like, that's all. I know that may not make much sense, so I'll try to explain it. Right, let me dim the lights first. Even if all the candles are still going. You see, each of us has a powerful force inside of us. Those attuned to it can see it. To us, it looks like a pillar of shining light. Each person's light is different. Its color, size, the way it glows, all these depend on the person.
This pillar is each person's life stream. The path their life will take. Their life force itself. When people come together, their streams intermingle, join together, and that in turn creates another new stream. Is that close to how Ghostbusters happens? Now, the stream of one of the Endless is very large, very powerful. So powerful, it can affect the stream of the world itself. Making a Skittles commercial. <laughs> Any stream that gets close to such a large and powerful stream gets caught up in it, affected by it, changing its original direction. The largest of these streams, the ones that can affect all the others, these are what we call gods. Some of what you said we already know. What we want to know is, what should we do now? Well, I think perhaps that once you understand where the gods, where the dragons came from, and their place in the world, that question will answer itself. For now, however, you should rest. You must be tired from your long journey. We will talk again later. We just rested at the end of the previous episode. Oh, my groin! Oh, I'm up. Let me pick my nose. My neck still works. Good. Why am I here by myself? Ryu! I didn't want the others to hear me. So I had them sleep. Here, in your dreams, we can talk openly. Is this a dream? I know what you are. You can't hide it from me. I know you are one of the Endless. The real question is, who are you? And where did you come from? For centuries, we here in this village have summoned gods. Summon the Endless to this world. Pong Ryong, the Wind Dragon. Ni Ryong, the Mud Dragon. Sa Ryong, the Sand Dragon. It was we who brought them here. But you, you are different. You were not summoned by us. What are you? Who brought you here? Uh, four other mooks. Ryu does not know the answer to that question himself. That is what Urshan says. Don't fall on the will. You might land on Twit Timmy. What? But, but how? You, are you also one of the Endless? No, Urshan is Urshan. I can sense your aura. It is a god's, but it's weak. Like it's being dampened somehow. Are you sealed within that armor? Yes, that is why Urshan says to let her out now. Ha 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 ha! Wah ha ha! It would appear I left at an inappropriate time. Welcome to 2017, Urshan. <laughs> Every time is inappropriate. <laughs> Did we just rest again? Oh, my groin! Ugh, nice. Oh, time to pick my nose. My neck still works. This is like deja vu. But, but, Cray! You mean you're gonna trade Ryu to get Alina back? I didn't say that. All I mean is, you got people talking about gods and changing the world and stuff. It's too big for me to understand, for any of us. And it's not like we can all stay together forever, right? What were you thinking? Well, I was thinking that since Ryu has no place to go, 
Once we found my sister, maybe we can take him back with us. Good morning, Ryu. That old woman said we should go see her once you woke up. Well, you're up, so let's keep going. Well, then where is she? We're at her house, pretty much. Unless she's up here. Hmm, let's see if we can get a good view. Nah, that doesn't help us. Did she fall down the well? Is she actually a cat? As a result, anyone who lives here ages slower than normal. Um, did I already talk to you and you said the first part of that paragraph? Because that's a weird way to start a sentence with as a result. L looks like they're g going to do something. Hi, we just walked on the railing. <laughs> I thought we were going to talk about what we should do next. What's up with Urshan? It would appear you all have a stronger connection to the Endless than you believed. Urshan here has something in common with Ryu. They're both one of the Endless. You mean, Urshan is also a... a god? I've never seen anything like this myself. That's why I want to release Urshan. Maybe then we can learn about what's occurred. Release? You mean, Urshan's trapped inside that armor? It would appear to be so. At least, that's what she says. Will you help me free her, Ryu? Place your hands on Urshan. Close your eyes. Urshan's like, I did not consent to this. Reach out and touch Urshan's mind. Where are we? Can you hear me? You are now inside Urshan's mind. If you want to come back to the waking world, just come back to this place and enter the light. The real Urshan, the one that's been locked inside the armor, should be somewhere in the heart of the dream world you're in now. If you can find her, you should be able to free her. Good luck. Like, we're literally in a dream world. Okay, so if we want to exit, we just go southwest. Got it. Or technically west, but you know. Is there a way to get that treasure chest? I would like to believe we could. I wonder if there are encounters in here. Is this considered a dungeon? Oh, I think we can leap across this. Oh, well, we're gonna have to wait because there are encounters in Urshan's mind. Spectre. Uses AP stealing attacks on its enemies, but has no physical attack. Then it should probably die pretty fast. Oh wow, Nina! Did over a thousand! Why would she dream of water wards? That makes no sense. Okay, let's just keep going. At least this part's straightforward. Even though, though it's, it's had more turns than Big Show's career. <laughs> oh, this seems safe! Wait. Why did it start turning? I guess I go around this spire. There's something on the top of it. It looks like these pillars are what's keeping whoever that is here. I'm 
don't know where that light was, but... Wait, is that really Urshan? As you can see, I'm trapped here. I'd really appreciate it if you could get me out of here. Um, are you Urshan? Who else do you think it could be? Of course I am! Now get rid of those pillars and get me out of here! Wait, the pillars are actually enemies? Oh god! This does not seem fun. Fire spirit that uses wind and suppresses water. Okay. So, that should be pretty interesting, like how we're gonna fight these. So, I'm thinking if I turn into a dragon, I will like my chances a bit better. Um, let's try to get rid of this one first. I haven't really turned into a dragon in a while. Hopefully this is the wisest choice. By using Cyclone, I can figure out what's weak against wind. So let me pay close attention. Okay, so really only the uh, top one is super weak against wind. And the bottom one obviously absorbs it. So that helps out a little. It doesn't help that we're going to be attacked four times. But it doesn't seem like they're immune to physical attacks. So we got that going for us. Can my breath attack hit everyone? Oh god, they heal 600 HP every turn. Oh wait, why did I think I had a breath attack? I obviously don't have one. Alright, Flame Strike, I'm better off using against Agiol. So, let's just focus on one at a time. Otherwise, we get overwhelmed. And see ourselves doing literally no damage. Okay, two of them are dead. Wow. Three of them are down. So it's just this one. Okay, that one actually did not recover any HP at all. I don't think we really need to bother uh, recovering HP. We can just go for the kill. Oh god, Nina's regular attack and heal it. That sucks. Okay, so I guess Nina might have to heal after all. Yep, yeah, do that just in case. I was thinking I'd have Kray use like an earth attack, but it's too late now. 10,000 experience? Jeez. Oh wow, we got like eight items. Four different elemental wards, a water bomb, an electrode, a molotov, and a weather vane. Jeez, I didn't think you'd get that many different items in one fight. Finally! I thought I'd never get out of there. Oh, well, somebody hadn't had a haircut in years. First, let me thank you for helping me. There's still one little problem, though. You see, well, I don't have a body. That means I can't leave here. 
That's why I want you to find me a medium who can loan me a body, okay? Don't worry. This is where they summon gods and whatnot. There's bound to be lots of mediums around. Remember, once you get back out, you need to find me a medium. Oh, and try to find a good-looking one if you can, okay? Um, I will definitely do that. I'm sure Nina wouldn't mind. Try not to get envious. <laughs> I still don't understand what that light does. But I guess we just have to leave. Alright, so... Does that mean we can't have her in the party anymore? Until she gets a body? If that's the case, that's gonna suck. It's gonna handicap us a little. Alright, oh, we gotta go that way. All right, here's another specter. I suppose you would not qualify as a body. Wow, you can get magic shards from him. Oh, that kind of sucks that we can't just get a magic shard that easily. Imagine if you could get a whole bunch of them. It'd make your life a hell of a lot easier. Oh, Kray also has over a thousand HP. That's real solid. Oh, we just automatically left? I have called for a medium, as was requested. Abbas, I'm ready. Rem is the strongest medium in the village. Hello. The Abbas has told me what's happened. I'll help you as best I can. Alright then. Rem, sit down in front of Urshan. You should make contact with the Endless any moment. She rejects it, like, not good looking enough. It goes back in the robot. That would make the side quest a little interesting. Huh. I was hoping for a better body than this. Oh well, I guess it will have to do. Rem. Or rather, Urshan. Can you tell us about you? And about Ryu? What are the two of you doing together? Hey, wait just a minute! I've been cooped up in that armor forever! I like to relax for a while, okay? How about giving me some food and drink? Is this any way to treat such an important guest? Where are your manners? Can we put her back in the robot, please? At least she was just cynical. You'll be resting there now. I'll bring you over some food in just a second. Oh my! Do you just spin around in circles every time you see a shirtless guy? Sorry about that. Got a little smoky there, didn't it? The oven ain't what it used to be, I'm afraid. It's like Urshan is a completely different person outside the armor. Well, can you blame her? I mean, being stuck in that armor for so long. I wonder if Urshan has finished eating yet. 
We should go check and see. I want to see that Urshan turns out over 500 pounds from all that eating. That would be so cool that we could just roll her around. She's not in here? Oh, okay. It makes sense to be eating at the inn. Is that the Abbot's house? Did the food meet your satisfaction, Urshan? Look, you wanted to talk to a god, right? If you ask me, this comes with the territory. Every god needs an offering, or two, right? What the hell did you eat there, like Flintstones ribs? Very well, then. Now, will you tell us about Ryu and Urshan? Alright. Ryu and I are not human. We are endless. Now, who here knows what that means? How about you, little birdie? Do you know? Wow! That's a little racist. Um, well, that means you were summoned here. And you're what other people call dragons or gods, right? Well, I'll be. You do know. Not bad, my little chickadee. Please don't call Cray a cat man. We are called summoned from other worlds and brought here. But do you know why we are called? Well, do you, kitty? Oh my god. She's a little deplorable right now. Alright then. Imagine the world is a giant ship. What happens to the ship if there's no wind? Um, the ship can't move? Very good. Maybe there's hope for you yet. Anyway, we're like that wind. We move the world. Now, imagine what you could do if you could control that wind as you pleased, hmm? That's why we have kept this village's location and what we know a secret. Were the ability to summon the Endless fall into the wrong hands, it would be disastrous. Whoever can control the dragons can control the world. Which is why I need to know. Who betrayed our secret? Who summoned the two of you? We were summoned by the Foe Empire. The Empire knows the spell of evocation? Not exactly. The Empire has come up with its own method of summoning. That's how Ryu and I got here, but it's not perfect. They brought us here, but we were incomplete. I wasn't able to manifest completely and got stuck in that armor. As for Ryu, he was split into two by his summoning. Back in the uh, life and times of Folu. Oh wow, his bed was really flat. Uh, I'm not gonna rest. Instead, I'm just gonna save. Cause I'm pretty sure this guy's been resting for God knows how long. But either way, we're in his perspective now at Sona. And now we're on section 7 of chapter 2. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. And in the next part, we will uh, see what's going on on his neck of the woods. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.